He's a stand-up fighter, standing six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in 186 pounds. He brings into the cage a professional record, eight wins and two defeats. Tonight, he represents Capital City Combat Club, and he's fighting out of Tallahassee, Florida. Please welcome Josh Suman! And his opponent standing across the cage in the red corner. He's a practitioner of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, standing six feet, one inch tall, and weighing 185 pounds. Tonight he brings into the cage a professional record, 12 wins against eight defeats. Representing Rain Training Center and fighting from Newport Beach, California. Please welcome Mikey Gomez. Our referee in charge, Nate Jolly. Uh, you guys both know the rules. I expect you to obey them at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Have any questions from Red? Any questions from Blue? If you're going to touch them, touch them up now. Saman bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet, ready to go here. He comes in as the underdog, plus 185. Mikey Gomez, minus 235. Thanks to Nick Kalikas, BetOnFighting.com. Great crowd here at the uh, Knoxville Civic Coliseum. Third man in the cage, the great Nate Jolly, Michael Chavello, Pat Milicic. Here we go. Like many Orthodox. Side leg kicks are open up for Gomez, quick to cover though. Saman goes with the hands. Gomez rushing him back against the cage with a double leg here. Saman looking for a submission here. I think I'd be more concerned about the takedown and dealing with that first before the submission because if he ends up on his back against Gomez, he might find some serious problems. Gomez can sustain a lot of punishment. Human sponge. North south position here. Turns the knuckles in. Then goes to the head. Gomez are locking onto a single. Now switches back to a double. Competitive opening round here. Right away looking for that half guard sweep. Climb it in there. Strike from Saman. Here we see that Saman smashing. Double hammer fist. North South again. One foot on the cage here. Goes to the left side of the body of Mikey Gomez. Gomez edging him back. Right in front of our commentary position now. Getting in deep on that single leg. He's got to turn the corner though. Saman trying to punch out the tattoo. He's working that right hand nicely. Maybe not doing a lot of damage, but maintaining his activity. Scoring. Constantly glancing towards his corner pack and receiving instruction. Yeah, and it's very annoying when you're stuck underneath somebody trying to get a takedown and they keep peppering you with shots. It is a little bit uh, annoying to say the least. Body shots again here from Saman. Tries to pick him up and dump him over the back. Does Mikey Gomez? That was an awkward position. Gomez needs to, when you come up like that with the double with your head between, you got to cut one arm between their legs and spin on that single. Then you come out behind your opponent. He did not do that though. There's the arm between the legs. And now, tracking away again to the left side of the body. Arm between the legs once more here for Saman. Elbows to the body now. Where does Gomez go from here, Pat? Well, Gomez needs to keep the single and turn the corner or go back to that posted leg, the right leg. The Saman smash! <laughs> and now Gomez dumps him out the back door, but Saman straight back on top of him. Made that mistake again. He lifted him up with the head between the legs. Got to switch off to the single. Looking for the submission on the leg now. Gomez is going to throw the legs up. Might be trying for a triangle here. Looking for the arm. Up there. Yeah, his, intentions, the his intentions are definitely going after that leg. Turned the knuckles in nicely and somehow snaked it through that gap in the armpit. Saman takes the back. We're going to cage, we're going to cage. 8 and 2, Saman, the 23-year-old, 12 for that Gomez, the 29-year-old. Saman looking to measure him with the right hand, now trying to sink a choke. You know, Gomez did a lot of work there to go for that leg lock and got himself in trouble. Gomez getting tagged by the violent right hands. Saman pounding on him, still a long way to go, 1 minute 35 remains. Gomez taking punishment. He covers up. 
Samir thumps him out again, cracking into the skull, ringing the bell, the Samir Smith, Gomez in trouble. Good night, Irene. Josh Sam ended up taking the back of the BJJ Black belt, finishing with strikes. Say it, say it. Finish you with the Saman Smith. You know you love it. I'm not doing it. You know you I'm love not it. Say it. Come on, Cat. <laughs> Smash. Hey, Fabo. Josh Saman elated. The crowd here in Knoxville, Tennessee loved it. I'm sure Gray Maynard, who I know is watching live, he's from Tennessee. I know he's enjoying it. It's a man doing a good job there, starting out fast, throwing a lot of, a lot of punches in that combo. Here he is going for that choke. Gomez again, he's in on the legs. Say it, Pat, say it. <laughs> Gomez is in on the legs, here he is. That's where he stayed with the double. Tammy Militich. You gotta spin, you gotta spin on that technique. Here he is, he's got his back, dropping bombs on him. Out grappled the grappler. Great defense for the submissions. Gomez went for the leg lock, cost him position. Here he is. Watch how hard he works for this leg lock. He keeps fighting for it. See him trying to get that arm out of the way so that he can get down to the leg. Finally gets his leg past the arm. Once he does that, he's able to kick that leg over. There but it is. But he still that lost called, it. Pat? What's that called? That's that's called a. Uh, what was that, Pat? That's called a double hillbilly hand smash. <laughs> The Seven Smash does it in style here in the cage. Not to be for Mikey Gomez. Tough night out for him. Let's go up to Christopher James. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, Second of round number one by tap bout due to strikes, Josh Summers. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.